Alright guys, today we're going to be doing a valve cover gasket on this 2000, actually this 99 BMW 540i, it's the E39 with the M62 V8. So when the car was running, we had smoke coming out from the back of this engine on the passenger side and that's how we know the valve cover gasket is bad because it would drip a little oil onto the exhaust and heat up and burn it. So the process of doing this valve cover gasket is not very difficult. You just gotta remove a lot of the plastic trim pieces and loosen up some other stuff. So we'll show you the process and we'll get to it right now. First thing you wanna do is pull this plastic cover off. Ours just comes off, but you can normally release these tabs. All right, so just for this video purposes, we're gonna be doing just this side. However, this side is easy as well. Similar process, you just gotta remove the battery terminal right here, two screws right there, and that'll do it. This side, you gotta remove the air intake just to make, you don't have to, but it'll make your life a lot easier. So there's rubber molding right here. It literally just pulls right off. Boom. All right, now we wanna kinda of clear up the cabin air filter area. This here is clipped. You can take a flat screwdriver. Ours I can kinda of just pry back with my thumb and it's off. We're actually gonna pop this little ring off too that lid off and this should be able to remove as a unit this part right here we're just gonna twist it twist it so it's a little bit out of our way right here now to remove this air filter we're gonna uh, unscrew it right there we're gonna take that little 10 right down here there's normally another 10 right here, but ours is already missing it. Remove those and you should be able to remove the majority of the air system. All right, so here on top, we have this little, these little clips down here. You gotta pop them up and use a flat screwdriver. You got one there and one here. And that'll expose two tens, remove those tens, and this plastic cover should come off. And that'll reveal the coil packs underneath. Now that we got the cover off and our coil packs are revealed, we're also gonna need to take off this plastic cover, which as you can see, has these little plastic clips that you're gonna have to take with either a pick or a flat screwdriver and take all of them off. See, they're on the underside too. So be patient, old plastic is brittle and it can crack, but just be patient and work your way through it. So to remove your actual valve cover, you're gonna remove these three bolts, and then you're gonna remove these eight right here. So we're gonna need to remove the coil packs. So you also wanna keep in mind where the grounds are. You got a ground here and a ground here. And when you put the valve cover back on, make sure these, these um, grounds don't get caught or pinched underneath. So the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna unhook the coil pack here. All right, so just kind of unpack them. When I unhook them, I'm gonna take them and then lean them over the top. You can completely remove them, that's completely fine. Just label them. This is a one, two, three, four, and we're on the passenger side. Five, six, seven, eight on the driver's side. And these are 10 millimeter nuts that you have to remove. And in order to, if we're gonna unhook the coil pack, you pop this out and then you should be able to remove it. While this is up, you can remove the coil back. There you go. All right, I almost forgot to mention, these two little tens right here 
on top of this box of wires. You want to remove those so you could hopefully kind of shuffle around this box. One last thing before we pull the valve cover, we're going to go ahead and loosen our fuel rail. It's only five bolts. We got a 10 right there. We got some Allen keys. One, two, three, and four. Once you remove those, because this wiring box connects to your fuel injectors as well, and we just kind of want to lift it out of place. You don't have to tug them, just a little wiggle, and that way you give this room to remove the valve cover. And the size five Allen is what fits best for us. So now we're gonna kind of grab the fuel rail, kind of wiggle it up. It's gonna require two hands, but you get the idea. Your injectors, if we use it this side for reference, sit right there. Bars are kind of hidden by the wires and the coil packs, but just kind of wiggle it up so we can move this box out of the way. Oops, forgot to mention, remove these two tens that hold on to this side, this side's box of wire, so that way it'd be easier to lift up the fuel rail. So as you can see, there's our injector right there, and we have it. Oops. We have it where the fuel rail is able to move. So by moving this little box, we no longer have it sitting right on the valve cover, and we have a little room to work with. So now, it's time to remove the actual valve cover and we have eight tens plus three more on the outside. That's 11 10 millimeters you'll have to remove all in total. All right, so now that we've got the valve cover removed, I want to show you a little, a little something. These back here are half moons, and those are where we're really likely to leak. So you want to put some RTV at least in the half moons. Then BMW also has some markings right here where they want you to put some RTV when you put it on. We're going to go ahead and clean this up and get ready for our new gasket. All right, so we prepped the valve cover, we cleaned up the bag, we made sure to clean up the half moons pretty nicely as well. We did it with a little bit of a little razor blade, scotch bright pad, and just some paper towel, and wiped it all down. All right, and here's the new valve cover gasket. We went ahead and we laid it inside the lines of the valve cover. And as you can see here, here are the half moons. We're gonna wanna RTV those make sure they sit correctly i am also gonna put a little rtv on the corners to help the gasket sit when i turn it over and put it on the motor it's gonna to want to come out so all right as you can see we put rtv on the recommended spots and on the half mode all right time to install the valve cover as you're doing it you want to uplift everything and make sure you don't get the ground strap caught All right, so now that we got the valve cover back in, everything's bolted down, you wanna make sure you don't tighten them in a row. You go zigzag, directional start, different ends, never 
bolt right next to each other. You also want to double check that the half moons set correctly and that they're not going to leak or out of place. Otherwise, you're going to have to redo this. And uh, torque spec, give or take six foot pounds. However, just get them snug. That's all you need. Snug, don't strip them. Now you just start putting everything back together. And that's about it for the valve cover job. Same, the other side is pretty much the same process. And uh, it's not too difficult, but you just gotta be patient and take your time.